Okay, I'm going to show you how to wire an e.l.f. You're going to need your e.l.f., a seam ripper, a pair of scissors, needle nose pliers that have the rounded round to them, a pair of wire cutters, and a roll of wire. I use a 19 gauge wire. Um, that's just because that's what I had on hand. I don't. I think you could probably get away with anything from like a 16 up, but that's just what I had. A ruler so you can measure. First of all, you notice that your elf is um, stitched in his legs and his arms. So I just took a seam ripper and went along and pulled all those seams out. They're not too hard. You just rip them out of there and do that on both sides. And I just take my little rounded pliers and pull it all off of there. You do it with there and then also at his knees. It's there too. You just rip it out of there on both sides. I'm going to need to get all, all those done. Then his arm, you know, becomes like one with no stitching. So then you need to get your wire ready. For the arms, I use a 5 inch piece of wire. You need to cut two of them to 5 inches. And then you need to cut two for the legs at 6 inches. So you cut two for arms and two for the legs. I take my rounded needle nose and I just curl it around and bend it flat. You do that on both ends till you get a nice flat. See it better maybe on here. Just a flat hoop. Both ends. You do that for both the arms and both for the legs. You do that because when you poke the wire up through the arms and the legs. You don't want it to poke up through the top or poke through the bottom and maybe poke someone. So I go to the bottom of the elf's leg and I use my seam ripper. I'm not ripping anything. I'm just going in between a stitch. Kind of try to find me a hole in there. Then I use this little tool. It's like a dotting tool. But you could use probably a toothpick or a fat um, a needle that you use for embroidery work or something. Just something with a nice little barrel to it that'll make a round hole it doesn't really make a hole it just kind of goes in between the threads for you to a nice place for you to start your wire see the hole right there then i push the wire in there and it's going to go all the way oops it's going to go all the way up it stops right there and the butt cheeks i guess because it has a stitch there. And you're just going to push it down in there. And always make sure that your tools are clean because sometimes this wire, I found that sometimes it, it has little oily residue sometimes. They do make a silver wire. I think if I buy any more, I'll make sure I buy a silver wire, especially on the white where his hands are. I grab a hold of it and you're just going to push it down there and wiggle it around. And when it's down in there and past there, then I just use my seam ripper to pull it back up. And then it's just kind of hidden down in there. 
So I do the same for both sides. Make your hole and poke your wire in there. You can still feel that little loop in there. But then it makes his leg bendy. And same for the hand. This is where you want to make sure that your um, wire is clean. So I just kind of run it along through there. It usually is clean, but... I use my seam ripper. Sometimes if you go on the on the side side of him, you can get a little bigger stitch right there in between. Oh, there. I just push it down. You're just kind of making yourself a hole. that wire up in there I push it all the way up and then kind of like enclose the hand over it sometimes they're a little stinker and they make you work a little more I mean you can undo the stitches if you want and then go back and restitch it but mm, no I'm not going into that much You just get it down in there and wiggle the hand out right. There it is. There, it's all in there. You can't see it at the top or anything where he comes through there. This one's all done. So then his arm now is bendable. His legs are bendable. I mean, I've seen people take, go as far as taking the head off and putting a wire straight across, but I don't really know what purpose that serves because this does the same thing. And the wire is still kind of flexible and you kind of got to work a little bit to bend it. It's not, you know, it kind of wants to wobble out there, but it does what I need to do. All right, there you go.